In this video, we're going to be looking at fractional and negative indices. And if you didn't know, indices just means powers. Okay, let's look at the first one. 25 to the power of a half. Now, some people just simply memorize that the power half means square root. A third means cube root and so on. But there's a slightly better way to look at it. With a fractional power, there's two things involved. There's the top of the fraction and the bottom of the fraction. Now the top of the fraction powers the number. So here we have one at the top and that simply means power one. So it won't make any difference in this case. And the bottom of the fraction roots it. So here we've got a two at the bottom. So it's a square root. It's better to say square root than two root. In this case, one doesn't have an effect anyway, so we'll just simply square root. And the answer will be the square root of 25, which is five. So of course, some people simply just memorize power half means square root, which might be quicker, but it's important to understand what the fraction in the power does. So let's look at the next example. We have seven to the power of negative two. If it was seven to the power of two, it'll just simply be seven squared, which is 49. But here we've got a minus two. Now all the minus does is it makes it one over. So you can simply rewrite it as one over seven to the power of two. And of course, as I said, seven squared is 49. So here we've got a fractional power. So the top of the fraction is two, so we're going to power it by two. And remember the bottom of the fraction roots it. And here we've got a three, so it'll be three root or better cube root. Now it's up to you which one you do first. You could cube root it first or square it. It'll be much better though if you cube root it. Squaring that 27 is going to give you a very large number. So just go ahead and cube root it first. And the cube root of 27 is three. And if we square that three, we get three squared is nine. Now in the next example, we've got a number to the power of a fraction, but that fraction has also got a negative sign. And remember that negative in the power just simply makes it one over. That's all it does. Now we've got rid of that negative by simply just writing it as one over four to the power of three over two that negative simply just makes it one over. Now we just need to sort out that fractional power. So it's still one over. Now remember the top of the fraction powers and the bottom roots. So it's going to be four to the power of three and the bottom roots it and it's a two, so it'll be a square root. Uh, remember you can do either first, but we'll go ahead and square root it first. And the square root of four is two, and two cubed is eight. Now in this next example, we've got a fraction to the power of a negative. If you've got a fraction and it's got a power outside, you simply apply that power to both the top and the bottom of the fraction. However, we've got a negative power here. Now, if you've got a fraction to the power of negative, it simply reciprocals that fraction, it flips it. So we've gone ahead and flipped it and we don't need that negative anymore but we still haven't applied that power two yet, so that still stays there. Now that power two, you go ahead and power it to the top of the fraction and the bottom of the fraction. That power is applied to both top and bottom. And that gives us 49 over 25. Now let's look at our last example. And there's a lot going on on this one. So we've got that negative, so we're going to flip the fraction like last time. Now we don't need that negative anymore because we've applied it, we've flipped the fraction. Next, we apply that power to the top of the fraction and the bottom of the fraction. Let's go for the top first. The top of our fraction is two, so the top powers it by two, and the bottom is three, so it cube roots. And we'll do the same to the denominator, the bottom of the fraction. And of course, we'll do the rooting first. It's always a lot easier that way. Cube root of 64 is four, and the four squared is 16. And 27, the cube root of 27 is three, and squared would be nine. 
And there we have it. I hope you found that video useful. Support us by liking, subscribing, and share this with your friends. And if you still got some more questions on anything, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where you'll find your questions answered.